Okay, so this is a video for Andrew who asked about the alternative option for setting up your throttle hold. As you can see, my throttle is set for channel 3. So this is where we need to set up a safety channel, which handily leads me onto the function here called the safety channel. If you set that to channel 3, and when the SF switch is in up position, so this will disable channel 3 and set it to this value. So we want that to be minus 100. Hello. So if we now simulate that, if you look at my channel 3 is currently at minus 100, even though the throttle is in the middle. Move that around. Channel 3 is still minus 100. If we enable SF switch, channel 3 now will respond to my throttle input. Turn it off. It's back to minus 100. So that's our throttle safety switch. For the alarm, we need the function where A matches X. This will be throttle matching minus 100. Then we want an AND condition there. Having SF also in the down position as in we've enabled the throttle. So the testing function we want now will be to be on when our custom switch 1 comes on. That will be to play the sound. Say one and one. Repeat every five seconds. So we simulate that. Channel 3 is at minus 100. Move the throttle, nothing happens. And if you bring it down to minus 100, it's still there. But custom switch 1 is not on, so our alarm won't sound. If we turn on the throttle, custom switch 1 also comes on. So you would now get an alarm start to play every 5 seconds. If you move your throttle up, channel 3 changes, custom switch 1 goes off, so your alarm comes off. Power back to 0, custom switch 1 is back on. Oh, my alarm, my throttle is still enabled. So you turn it off, and custom switch 1 goes off. Have us been enough help? Thank you.